everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Melinda and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. I sell used and new clothing items, accessories, shoes, some hard goods, basically anything that's going to bring me money, I will sell. Um, my username on those platforms is tailored and teal and I'll put all of those links to my stores and closets in the description below. So today we have an estate sale haul. I had a day off from my normal Monday through Friday job, so I decided that I wanted to go estate sale shopping. This was the first time that I've ever actually planned out my route. I looked at estatesales.net and I saw ones that were open on Friday nearest to me and I visited three of them. I thought that I was going to go up to a fourth, but I looked at the calendar wrong and it was actually the next day on Saturday. So I spent about a total of $55 and change and I purchased 15 items. So it breaks down to about $3.75-ish per item. And let me show you what I got. One thing I wanna say about estate sales is it's a very foreign feeling to me. So you're going into these houses that people have made memories in, that they've raised children in, they've cooked so many meals in, and then something happens to them. They're either moving, they passed away, um, they're in foreclosure with a bank. So then you go and you rummage through their items. So it's a very like bittersweet kind of moment because you know that they may have good things that you can resell, but it's also sad to think why you're getting these items. So that was a little difficult for me to get through my head. Like, you know, they're trying to make money as well. So instead of trying to wheel and deal with them, I was very respective of their pricing. If I did bundle some items, they did give me a deal, which was nice. So I'm going to show you everything that I picked up at each estate sale and we're going to start with the one I went to first. So this first one you could tell was an older couple that lived there um, basically off of the items that they had in, in their kitchen and also the items that the uh, female had in her bedroom. She had a lot of cute shoes like good brands too but she wore a size 5 and a size 5 is pretty hard to sell. Shoes that are smaller are sometimes harder to sell quickly at least so I didn't unfortunately pick up any of those shoes. However, I did find a pair of shoes that were not a size five. I don't know who they came from. Maybe they were a family member, but this um, is the brand Vanelli or Van Eli. I'm not sure how you say it. I would say Vanelli. And they are these cute little woven top sling back, um, like really low heels. I just thought that they were adorable. Um, they are leather on the bottom and they are size eight and a half. So, and they came in the box. If they were worn, they were worn like once or twice because there really isn't much wear at all. And these are the Janet Multi Sparrow is what they're called. And then I went into the office and I saw these lying there. So these are cassette players. And I know that these flip pretty well on eBay specifically. I paid $1 for all four of these, so I will definitely make my money back. And then some, I'm not really sure who, who uses these because cassette players aren't really that popular anymore, but I'm sure that there are certain like maybe security systems or recording places that still use these. So I am excited to see how these do. All right, and then I got two purses. So this first purse is this woven leather bag. It has an adjustable strap. It's a crossbody bag. And the brand is, it's nothing really exciting. I just bought it based off of the style of it. So it's Americana by Sharif. Yes. And really clean on the inside. I love this little charm. It says by Sharif. And it also has a little charm in here too. And just a really nice condition purse. And then I picked up another one. You could tell that the person really liked these kinds of purses. So this is a woven leather bag with a wooden handle closure. It has um, also a snap closure. Again, really clean on the inside. This is the brand CEM. And oh, there's a little wooden plaque with the name too. And it also has a removable strap. And so if you wanted to wear it as a handbag or just as um, you know, a shoulder bag or cross crossbody. No, it's not long enough for a crossbody, but yeah, I really like that. All right. So then the next estate sale I went to was really busy and it was in a very old house. 
and the house was kind of falling apart. So I didn't really spend a lot of time in there because A, I was nervous that there were so many people there and B, I was nervous that the house was gonna fall. So I believe this house was built in like 1860 or something. And the gentleman who was there, I overheard someone talking, he had passed away and his brother was looking to sell all of the possessions. And so I picked up this um, little Victorian lady. So she is occupied Japan. She does have some extra paint back here, but that is just a flaw from the manufacturer. I'm not sure of the brand name because it's kind of worn off here, but it does say made in occupied Japan and it does have a number stamped and also an embossed number on the bottom. So I don't really think that I'll be getting much for this, but I really liked it. And surprisingly, it was in good condition with no chips or cracks. And then the second thing that I picked up from this estate sale was this beautiful, West Germany pottery glazed pitcher, or I guess you could use it as a vase too, because I mean, this is a really tiny pitcher. It does have one little chip to the gold area here. And then there's a little bit of glaze missing down here, but overall it's in really nice condition. You know, this is probably back in the 1950s or 1960s. On the bottom, it says West Germany, and it does have like the mold number and then probably, um, what number it was maybe produced. I have to do a little bit more research. So then the last estate sale that I went to, I did really good with the amount of items that I got. This place was packed full, room to room, of just odds and ends. Um, you could tell that the people like to collect stuff. Um, the bedroom was full of clothing. Unfortunately, they were all like older women style brands. It's funny because the female had like good, not expensive brands, but like she shopped at Macy's or Boscov's and then the guy had all like faded glory Walmart stuff. So it was really interesting the different dynamic that was there. But I'll show you, I picked up a few clothing items. I picked up this flocked swirl pattern, Ruby Road blouse. So here is the tag. Now, this is not a special brand. I have sold this in the past. Um, I basically picked it up because it's a good size, 2X. It's got a cowl neck and it's got this flocked, um, like swirly pattern. I don't even know if it's a swirly pattern, but then in between it has this the black, almost like semi sheer to it. I thought this would be beautiful at a holiday party or a special event. It is a little bit longer in length. And this actually just sold today on eBay for $15. So very exciting. I think this has been listed for two days. Another clothing item I picked up. So this is a Quicksilver brand new with tags. Um, there's another tag down here. It is like a Hawaiian tropical shirt, short sleeve button down. And it has a really nice size of an extra large. So I'm hoping that that will do well. And then the last clothing piece that I picked up was this, um, was this Lord Jeff 100% Shetland wool sweater. Um, I, it, it is vintage. I can just tell by the tag and also it smells kind of vintagey. So I did hand wash this because it did have an odor to it and it kind of does still have an odor to it. So I think I'm just going to let it air dry for a little bit. So it has this embroidered duck on the front here really nice condition no holes or stains or anything that i could see and it is a size large but i would say it's probably like a, a fitted so maybe closer to a medium it is vintage so it would be smaller so i randomly found this jessica simpson wallet which is new with tag so i definitely picked it up it is a bifold wallet but it's got two parts that come undone. So it's like a quadruple <laughs> bifold, but really nice new condition. And I thought that someone might enjoy this. I got another bag item. So this is a Walt Disney World like embroidered. I don't really know what this, this material is, but it, it's scratchy when you scratch it. And it does feel like it's leather on the sides here, but I'm pretty sure that this is new without tags or rarely used because it still has the little packet in it. This thing, the silica packet, um, but it is vintage Walt Disney World. I'm not exactly sure of the age of it, but I'll show you the tag inside. So there it is there. 
Disney. And then the back is just plain, but it's just a cute little shopper bag. So this next item was just on a wall and it felt kind of weird just taking it down, but I did because I knew that everything was for sale. Um, and I'm glad that I did because it's beautiful. So I'm trying not to get the ring light, um, but it's this embroidered, actually it's cruel, um, little country cottage scene. It is framed. Oh boy, look at that ring light. Oh, there we go. It is framed, not the best frame in the world. And part of the lining on the back came off, so I just took that off altogether. Someone can do that if they want, and it is hangable. So I thought that that was really, really cute. The next item I got was this wooden box. It's like a little storage box. It does have some marks. Um, I did clean it already, but they're just kind of stuck on there. No brand from what I can see. And it has this beautiful pewter overlay. Um, there's roses and lattice work on it. And then the inside is felted and the felt is in pretty decent condition. So, and it's very heavy. It's like a pound and a half. Actually, the heavy part, the heaviest part of it is the, the pewter on top. Another metal item. So I saw these in the kitchen and they are measuring spoons. So they have this cute little floral pattern and there's also, oh yeah, little butterflies in the back. And then the last thing that I picked up was this made in India little serving tray here. I think that this is brass. I have a really hard time distinguishing brass and bronze from each other, but I think this is brass. Um, it's got this, it's got this really cool pattern. I love the colors on it. It does have some wear to it, but I think it just adds to the look of the piece itself. And then on the back, it does have the word India inscribed down here. And it says, I think it says 1976, or it says 1076. I don't know. I have to do more research on this. Hopefully Google image will help me pull up this particular item or print or whatever this is. So that's all I have from my estate sale haul. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to do something out of your comfort zone. I never thought that I'd be able to go to someone's, a stranger's house and rummage through their things, but I did it and I'm glad that I did because I had a really good time and I learned a lot about items that people have in their house. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up before you leave. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I do put out reseller content hauls, what sold, thread up videos. And I put these videos out at least once a week. So as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.